Muscular dystrophy, or MD, is an incurable progressive degenerative disease of the voluntary muscles, although some types of MD also affect the heart muscle. The disease progresses from generalized muscle weakness to loss of ambulation, self-care difficulty, ineffective breathing patterns, poor airway control and clearance, and a shortened lifespan. Of the many different forms of ND, Duchenne is the most common type seen in children. The Duchenne type is X-linked, which means that the chromosomal abnormality can be carried by females, but almost always affects boys. Children with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy usually begin to develop symptoms between the ages of 3 and 5, including lordosis, waddling gait, and difficulty rising from the floor and climbing stairs, as fat deposits replace wasted muscles. Later, there is a development of contractures, calf muscle hypertrophy, and loss of independent ambulation between 9 and 11 years of age. Death is generally from respiratory or cardiac failure between the ages of 15 to 25 years. MD is suspected in a child with slow motor development, frequent falls, clumsiness, waddling or wide-based gait, or use of their hands to brace their legs when they rise from the floor. This is known as Gower's sign. Progression of the disease is marked by enlarged muscles, generally the calves, contractures of ankles, knees, and hips, loss of mobility, progressive respiratory weakness, a weak and ineffective cough reflex that can lead to pneumonia, scoliosis or lordosis, tachycardia and cardiomyopathy, obesity, and muscle atrophy. Diagnostic testing when MD is suspected includes a detailed history and physical assessment, a creatinine phosphokinase, SGOT, AST, and adelase, all of which would be extremely high in the first two to three years of life. Also, a muscle biopsy will reveal degenerative muscle fibers, EMG will show a decrease in amplitude and duration of motor unit potential, genetic testing will identify carriers, chest x-ray and electrocardiogram will detect or evaluate cardiac and pulmonary complications, and a CBC will detect or evaluate any infections. There are no effective treatments for childhood MD, so your care will focus on maintaining function, referring families for genetic counseling, and preventing, detecting, and minimizing complications. You'll assess airway control, providing support as needed with percussion, postural drainage, suctioning, tracheostomy care, and mechanical ventilation. You'll ensure appropriate posture and the use of braces and wheelchairs as needed. Maintain skin integrity by providing frequent skin care, turning, positioning, and assessing for pressure areas. Provide activities that require active range of motion and use of muscles. Reposition the child often to prevent respiratory, skin, and gastrointestinal complications of immobility. Provide adequate nutrition, including a high-fiber, low-fat diet with adequate fluid intake. Obesity must be prevented because high excess weight further stresses weakened muscles. Also help the child with communication. Collaborate with the family and health care team in providing physical, occupational, speech, and recreational therapy. You will also assist the child and the family in the following areas. Meeting social, educational, and schooling needs. Setting and attaining long-term realistic and short-term goals. And finding community resources for the financial and home health services, respite care, and emotional support. Your teaching must consider the child's age, readiness to learn, developmental or maturity level, and knowledge base. It is also important to advise the parents to educate the child at his own pace. Medications for children with MD include analgesics for pain, stool softeners to prevent constipation, and antibiotics to treat infections. Children who have muscular dystrophy are prone to many problems, including pneumonia, contractures, skin breakdown, cardiopulmonary complications, developmental delay, learning disabilities, mental retardation, decreased body image and self-esteem, caregiver role strain, and a shortened lifespan. You communicate effectively with the child and family and teach them what they need to know to deal with each complication as it arises.